generated clock. It's locked. It shows locked. Um, when it's when it's linked directly to this, I'm sending the clock signal directly from the Big Ben into this, and I'm sending the clock signal directly from the Big Ben into this. So they both have the same clock going to them, and they're both synced together, and it makes sort of like a triangle in my mind that they're all on the same page. They're all playing on the same team. And when you get sound quality, I mean, you'll hear it instantaneously when you add new converters and a new clock to your setup. So let me move on to a piece right behind me. This, if you want to Google this thing, ah, this is a blessing in itself to even have this. But this is the Manly Stereo Variable MU Limiter Compressor. Now you guys probably have compression um, plugins and software like that. But what's so amazing about this piece of equipment over the years of me using it, like I said, this is a blessing. You'll see this in some of the biggest mastering studios, probably all the mastering studios in the world, for one reason. It is one of the main pieces to achieve level, to achieve volume. What does it do so great? It acts like, uh, I, I think you guys have heard of a band called The Beatles. This was pretty much modeled after that infamous, let me get this thing back so you guys can sort of see me. If you want to see me, that's cool. But this was modeled after the infamous Fairchild uh, compression. And the Fairchild was modeled on those Poig, I think they're called, Fairchild plugins. But the Fairchild is pretty much, if you find a Fairchild, it's probably going to cost you like $60,000 and it's probably going to be pretty beat up. And they used it at Abbey Road Studio and they used it a lot on the Beatles albums. And the reason that it's so unique is it compresses like nothing compresses. The, this compressor is very transparent. That means you can add a lot of compression and you can't even hear it unless you know what you're listening for. So if you buy an album as a consumer, it's not an ear fatiguing. And the, and the way it does this is it actually rebiases the tubes to, to create gain. So very, the mu is tube uh, talk for gain. That's right off their website. And when you hit the dual input, there's a dual input on here what you're doing is turning up both channels the cool part is is you can actually separate the channels if you want to use this side as you know one kind of boost as the output and this side is another like you could go compression on this side and limit because this is a compressor and a limiter you can limit the signal and it can limit up to like 50 to 1 which is ridiculous so for every every one over the threshold of where these are it's going to smash it 50 times and that can be cool on certain things not in a mastering situation you don't want to do that kind of stuff the compression is a 1.5 ratio very subtle but you can really tweak this you can really grab that gain and you can actually get you can get so much more volume out of like an independent home based recording or any recording for that matter and you can bring it up um, I use tricks in, in the Pro Tools environment to just run certain frequencies through this piece of equipment. It actually has real vacuum tubes. This isn't just fake stuff. This is the real deal. It's got tubes that light up and glow, rectifier bottles. Man, they're flipping nuts. I just had to replace them and they're not cheap. This is a very infamous piece of equipment and it has contributed to probably most of the uh, hit records in the last decade. So it's great to have. So, you know, you work with me, you're going to get that on your song. And now I'm going to move on. <sighs> That is a compressor. It's a two-track compressor used mainly for the two-track. That's what mastering is. And we'll also show you what else we got in here. This is one that a lot of guys think about getting. 